Yeah, so I realized that we haven't done a proper walk around tour and an update from the farm lately. So today we are going to go a bit around the farm and we are going to show you the updates that we've been working on, how we are upgrading the farm and also how we are going to go into the future with a lot of increased capacity and how all of this is going to work. So we have been testing the irrigation systems a lot by now and we found some ways that work really well and those methods we're going to incorporate in the farm as well we are going to put a watering system on these two setups here there's going to be an irrigation system on these systems here uh, we are going to use the computer over there and the watering system will be completely automated we hope that whenever this works we are going to put it out in the whole farm and we are also going to show you how it works and how we have set it up. We're starting to test some small fans here that are going to hopefully increase the, the airflow inside the whole facility. We're going to test how many do we need and does they work in the environment. If they have a high IP rating but we don't know if the quality is good so we have ordered a lot of different tests to see if they work in a very humid climate so that is basically what we have been working on so far the rest of the farm still runs and works as great as it should and we are about the point where we are increasing the capacity so much now that we don't have any more space as you can see here it's all most of it is filled out so Let's see where we are going to go from here and how we're going to expand from this place. I will, of course, update you in the future with that as well. Here, there is a lot of microgreens growing. Everything is going pretty, pretty good. We encountered some issues with some of the seeds and with some of the batches that we got. But I hope that we will figure this out. Just look how pretty the amaranth is growing looks awesome and it's running perfectly we don't have any dampening off or anything going bad from it so we are in the process of getting the computer up and running and the irrigation tank is also running we can automate everything with the electronics here so let's see how it works and a lot of you have been asking what a what is the equipment that we're working with? What is the different types of light? We are working with different lights and different light settings on a lot of the different microgreens. So we have really been doing some testing about and seeing what light works really well with each variety of microgreens. And we are actually just setting up everything so the each variety is optimized in its way. If you are interested in some of the equipment, then uh, in the description there will be an email that you can ask what equipment and what you need for the setup that you have. So we can help you specialize and a solution for you. And so here we are running some radishes really well as well. Got some red mustard here. And yeah, just everything runs as it should in the farm. And we are going to just keep scaling up everything. So it looks pretty, pretty neat. So outside here, the farm, we have been, we bought this small 10 foot container. I think we are going to make this into the new sterilizer we will see if we can sterilize in it or we can only pasteurize but i think that's a project that we're working on and we're really looking forward to getting it up and running so in here we have a container that's already that's in the process of being modified with nft systems and different grow systems to be able to ship this container away and then so someone else can actually grow in it and make a lot of tests in it and this is a project that is a bit secret right now so i cannot go into it but this is what's happening in there we got a big machine here 
that is able to do a lot of mixing of the bags. So we have now increased the capacity of the mushroom production a lot. And we have gotten to the point where now we have a new bottleneck that is the pasteurizer. So we are going to build a new pasteurizer as well. And hopefully that will be able to pasteurize a lot more of the bags and we are encountering some trouble with that some of the bags for the lion's main production is not sterile enough because when growing lion's main it's more important to sterilize than it is to pasteurize we found some ways to make it work but we have encountered this issue and we are working on this as well here is some of the bags that have been pasteurized they are going inside the uh, chamber where we are doing all of the inoculation and then they will be going for the incubation out in these containers here as you can see here yeah so this is the this is how it's going in the farm in the mushroom side of it and yeah we hope to be able to increase the capacity even more when starting to get another pasteurizer or even make a sterilizer that is big enough to make all of our bags work. Since last time you can see there's a lot of new containers been setting up and we are growing in five of them right now but the sixth is on its way. Here is Alex, he is putting bags in the container and we are going to fill up this whole container. It was emptied out a few days ago and now we are moving on to fill it back up again yeah we have some of the bags that are still having mushrooms on them for the second time so we are waiting for the last flush that we can do on these bags here so we are entering now the fourth container here this is the container where we're testing some lion's mane as you can see here it's starting to grow pretty well we're testing some different techniques and we're testing different amounts in the bags and different recipes so we can optimize and <clears throat> and hopefully get more out of the bags and more efficient grow space out of how much produce we are able to grow inside of the container here so yeah that is how it's going in here we got a lot of contamination issues still, but it's getting better and better. And we are getting there where it looks as a much more uniform. Yeah, so we got a lot of yield from these. We're trying different mixes with straw, basically, mostly. And then seeing if we can use some soybean holes or some wheat brand. And how does it work if we don't put in wheat brand moving on we have an empty container here that has just been emptied out will be cleaned if you want to know how we clean a container like this then we have made a video as well to show how that works the new container we got here is also ready to be filled with lovely mushrooms and we're doing still doing some testing on different varieties seeing how we can make them work the most efficient way the, this is purely for storage but then we have this container down here and this is filled up with mushroom bags that are doing the incubation it's really hot in here and the co2 levels are quite high as well so we tested one of the containers and that reached like 5000 ppms in co2 so we're figuring out how can we ventilate the containers a bit better and keep the temperature down so we don't run into any <clears throat> so we don't run any into any issues with that and the pile of compost is getting bigger and bigger. However, we got a lot of people interested in picking this up. So look how this awesome compost looks. 
This is perfect. It's just been laying around here. We didn't do anything with it. We just put the bags here and just left it. And it has been composting really well. I don't know how great it is because we haven't been turning it, but it looks dark and very yummy. A lot of the farmers in the area are very happy to be here and to be able to pick this up. So as you can see here from another side, this is how it looks. All the containers are stacked up together and we are in the process of opening a lot of bags and just filling up the containers that we just emptied. So now the most of the humidity is out from this container and as you can see here, we are getting some great clusters. Looks pretty good. This is how the farm is running today, basically. So we are going to expand and build even more capacity with the mushrooms as well. And we hope that we can add even more containers as soon as possible so we can increase the capacity even more. Yeah, we are doing a huge amount of bags right now and we are just keeping on expanding everything because now we have the capacity of being able to produce this at very very uh, reduced cost because of the machines and everything thanks for watching and i hope that you got something out of this if this is something that interests you then subscribe to our channel because we're going to bring you a lot of awesome vertical farming content like this and yeah hope to see you in the next one